number 21, I think Fesco has expressed this sense that even though he has come up with a possible future, his vision is really just one of many possibilities. So my question is, what is more important, that we advocate and shoot for a Venus Project-like society from the get-go, or that we focus on the now and do the right things which will gradually change society's own zeitgeist leading, to, leading into something like the Venus Project? Sometimes I feel that focusing on the Venus Project alone, sometimes I feel that focusing on the Venus, Venus Project alone, the fact that it's mentioned many times, it could be limiting people from viewing the broader spectrum of possibilities and what's at the root of what could cause society's Excuse me, and what is at the root of what would cause societies like that to show up in the first place. I also feel that focusing strictly on the one future might cause some needless frustrations because I see some people trying to shoot for it right now and I can't help seeing them as naive with their heads way up in the clouds. My question is if we should be focusing so much on the Venus Project. The Venus Project is, by name doesn't mean anything. The Venus Project is a concept which is a reference to the application of science, which is the only tool we have, the scientific method for creation and management of human, for the application of science for human concern, along with the intelligent management of the Earth's resources. No objectivity in this. We have to have resources to live. We have to manage them. We have to equate those to the population. And if we approach it in an egalitarian sense, as opposed to a social stratification way, which is much more healthy, then the Venus Project and the resource-based economy is a natural culmination. Now, in regard to the focus being limiting, I think um, we have to focus on the foundation, otherwise it's just patchwork. I have given an example prior to as far as existing problems that we have, such as, um, such as the corruption that we see on a daily basis. There's plenty of corruption we see on a daily basis, so we have to do something about that. We can't just focus on a larger term issue and just ignore problems of today. I'm well aware of that. The example I use is the guy with the gun. The guy pulls a gun on you, you have to make a decision. You either have to run away or you have to, you know, duck or try to talk to the individual to get him to stop doing it. You have to make a decision for the moment because it's a dire issue. But the real question is why did that person pull the gun on you to begin with? That is the root issue that we're, we're trying to address when we talk about these things. So I hope that's clear. And let me uh, check to see if the Venus Project is online yet. One moment, excuse me. 